Now you also have controls if you wanted to, I'll hit R and just draw another square for us. If you want to, you can come over to the properties panel and take your basic square and just start rounding it and add some rounded corners just like that. And you'll notice that with rounded corners, you actually have an additional option. You can do round or smooth. And it's a very subtle difference, but let's zoom in so you can see. Here's a smooth corner. Here is a round corner. So a round corner is literally rounding this corner. A smooth corner is kind of calculating in a taper even further. Um, now, why smooth corner instead of round corner? Well, iOS uses smooth corners. So if you're designing an app icon or something like that, you'll want to use smooth corners. But it's also great for a little bit more naturalistic effect that you don't get when you're using something like Illustrator or Photoshop to do your corners without getting really fancy or doing something special.